For this assignment about poetry, you will be learning about the different elements of poetry. First, read each slide that describes the different elements of poetry. Then, you will be listening to and reading a few different poems. On your log sheet, you will need to record the different elements of poetry that you heard in each of the poems and give specific examples of each of the poetry elements. If you need to, you can pause the video at any time to add more to your log sheet. Have fun! The first poetry element is rhyme. Rhyming words have similar ending sounds like round and frowned and white and tonight. Sense words are words that appeal to sight, smell, taste, touch, or hearing. A few examples are glisten, thorny, and sour. Figurative language is the imaginative comparisons between unlike things. Similes and metaphors are examples of figurative language. Two examples are spring arrived laughing and flowers covered the hillside like a quilt. Our final poetry element is wordplay. Wordplay is clever or funny uses of meaning sounds, and nonsense poetry, like I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Okay, now get your log sheets ready and get ready to listen to the following poems. As you listen, try to identify the poetry element being used in each poem. Some poems will have more than one poetry element in them. You may list all of the poetry elements you hear in the middle column and then give specific examples of those poetry elements in the third column. By myself. When I'm by myself and I close my eyes, I'm a twin. I'm a dimple in a chin. I'm a room full of toys. I'm a squeaky noise. I'm a gospel song. I'm a gong. I'm a leaf turning red. I'm a loaf of brown bread. I'm a whatever I want to be and anything I care to be. And when I open my eyes, what I care to be is me. By Eloise Greenfield Rabbit A rabbit bit, a little bit, an itty-bitty little bit of beet. Then bit by bit, he bit because he liked the taste of it. But when he bit a wee bit more, it was more bitter than before. This beet is bitter, Rabbit cried. I feel a bit unwell inside. But when he bit another bite, that bit of beet seemed quite all right. Besides, when all is said and done, better bitter beet than none. By Marianne Hoberman Skyfish Yesterday, we thought of fishing when the lake was purpled out. But we didn't take our fish poles or our hooks. We went without. Uncle Stephen rowed the rowboat where the moon made silver bands, and our fingers fished for moonfish, but they slithered from our hands. Then we tried to catch the starfish bobbing bright with shiny scales, but they dribbled through our fingers as they flicked their starfish tails. Yesterday, we went out fishing where the skyfish glittered bright, and I'm glad we didn't catch them, so they'll still be there tonight. By Eileen Fisher Pencils The rooms in a pencil are narrow, but elephants castles, and watermelons fit in. In a pencil, noisy words yell for attention and quiet words wait their turn. How did they slip into such a tight place? Who gives them their lunch? From a broken pencil, an unbroken poem will come. There is a long story living in the shortest pencil. Every word in your pencil is fearless, ready to walk the blue tightrope lines, ready to teeter and smile down. 
ready to come right out and show you thinking. By Barbara Esbenson. At this point, students, you can go back into the video wherever you need to. Go back to any slide that you need to look at and finish up your worksheet and you may turn it in when you're finished. Congratulations.